Every year, millions of people from all over the world gather around the shrine of the third Shia Imam. The number of the participants last year was over 20 million people. 20 million people walking over a hundred kilometers in the unbearable coldness of the desert. Children, women, the elderly, and even the disabled ones. There must be a mystery behind this enthusiasm. Who is the one whose shrine is so loved after 1,400 years? What motivates people to do so? The situation in the Islamic world was such that the wrong in an Islamic disguise was ruling over the country and the people. There has always been right and wrong, but you see wars when the wrong wants the right to conform. Now this has happened and the right needs to make a decision. Hussein ibn Ali had only two options. The first was to turn a blind eye to the historical deviation like others and to ignore the wrong and conform to the distorted Islam. Second was to reject the wrong at any cost and expose this deviation for the rest of the time. Hussein ibn Ali went for the second option. He takes his family with him. Therefore, a great sacrifice is on the way. The morning of the promised day, the wrong with hundreds of warriors stands in front of the right, with an army of less than a hundred. He and his followers sacrificed all they had to expose the brutality of the wrong Islam. From the moment that the war began, every second, the wrong Islam was exposed and the right Islam was revealed. They blocked the water on Hussein and his children. When he asked for water for his six months old infant, they responded with a sharp arrow. He asked them for a prayer's break. They attacked his warriors while praying. The water bearer of his army was thirsty until the last moment. He sent his own son before others for fighting. His companions and fighters were killed one by one until Hussein was left alone. His oppressed voice has echoed throughout history when he called, Is there anyone to help me? Is there anyone to help me? And now it was the time to sacrifice himself for the sake of freedom from oppression. After him, calamities did not stop. They burned the tents and imprisoned the survivors. This was just a portion of what Hussein, Imam Hussein, had to bear to reveal the truth and astonished the world. That is why every year a lot of people walk the long distance to Karbala with their children to mourn the 40th day of his martyrdom. And that was what Hussein went through in order to revive the truth. Had this not happened, history would have lost the last path to salvation. One may wonder why non-Muslims join the 20 million man march for praying tribute to the reviver of the true Islam.
Thank you.